her coach brought her here that I want me to uh, take a look to do an evaluation. His recommendation was great, a great kid, great family. I said, oh, that little size, those kids can do a front giant. I can't even hang on to the bar. <laughs> Nora has some similarities like Sean. They work hard and try very hard on whatever you are telling them to do. There are lots of people saying that Nora's beam and Sean's beam are very similar. And of course, they come from the same family. I think style-wise, they have some similarities. She will run for a long way. Stretch the knees to the stretch in the back of your knee. I think we decided to move to Chow's because my old coach, Jim Chudy, he retired from Salto, my old gym, and he recommended Chow's, and he just thought it would be a really good fit. Me, my mom, and my two sisters moved to Iowa, and my brother and dad stayed in Wisconsin because my brother had uh, his last year of high school. He wanted to finish up in Wisconsin, so my brother and dad stayed in Wisconsin for a year, and then after a year, they all moved here. When I came to Chow's, I like started excelling, and I just decided to compete elite. She's really good. Here's Nora. This is the first year for her at level 10. Nice lay down, Yurchenko. That's the one I don't like. Right. Let's shoot for perfection. Okay. They selected me because I was on the national team and I think I was just ready to go. So we trained at the National Team Training Center and then we flew out to Italy and we podium trained for a couple days and then we competed. It was my first international assignment and I was a little nervous. I started on vault and I think I competed just a full and I think it was uh, a pretty solid full. And then I went to bars and I don't think it was my best routine, but I still pulled through. And then on beam, I think it was a pretty solid routine, and then floor was good. I was very pleased with her performance as uh, her first time that uh, going out of country competing with the international athletes. Now, I think at the finals, she performed way better. Out of that finals, I was the first one up on the first event and I was like really excited, but also nervous. Winning beam was an honor because I work really hard and I think it just paid off. It was an honor to be selected at Pac Rams because it was a little bit more of a bigger meet than the Italy meet.
I felt like after training all year and then showing what I've trained for, it, it was just like, it was what I lived for and I just love to compete. Congratulations on a great meet. Tell me your thoughts. Um, I thought today went really well. I started on bars and it was a little shaky, but I think I was able to pull it off. And on beam, I think it was a, real, a pretty solid routine and I thought I did pretty well on it. How's practice going for you guys? Good? Working hard? <laughs> Everyone have fruit? Yeah. <laughs> so Nora's sisters told me she's really funny. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. yeah. She just stuffed the whole strawberry. <laughs> Nora is really funny. But she's also a serious gymnast, so that's good. She's really hardworking, but can be funny at the same time. Outside of the gym, she's able to have, like, have fun and be funny and enjoy life. This is Kyla. <laughs> <laughs> this is Anna. Yeah. <laughs> We're the three amigos. <laughs> Usually I'm like quiet and I just like to get the work done and then once I'm out of the gym usually I'm more like outgoing and fun. She looks so serious and focused when she's doing gymnastics but outside she's just she's totally the different. funniest person I know. This is my room. <laughs> These are my the trophies that I got in Italy. Um, this is for winning beam, and then uh, I think this is for third place all around. And then these are the gold medals that I got in pack room. Uh, one's team and one's for beam. My old coach JC, or Jim Trudy, um, when he was leaving he made this and he gave it to me when he left, so it's like a little reminder. <laughs> it's a, just a little gymnast chalking up. <laughs> these are just ma like mail that fans have sent me. and. I just keep them in here and then I like sign a picture and send it to them and write them a little note and saying thank you and you know just answering their questions if they have any. These are all my competition Leos, like the Team USA ones and then this is my Team USA warm up and then the other one, these are the ones that I used at PNG this year. We have Gus and we have had him for about two and a half months now and he's four months old. Got him right after, like a day after we came home from PNG Championships, and it was really exciting. <laughs> He's like a fluff ball, and we really enjoy having him. <laughs> Yay! Retreat! <laughs> That's something crazy you guys did. Oh, just what? like last night, even, she was like dancing around <laughs> with like grapes in her mouth. It was just really funny. <laughs> My goal for PNG was just to go out there and do my best and try to have fun and just do what I do in the gym. On day one, I started on bars and it was a good routine for me. Then I went on beam and I fell in my front aerial sheep jump. I didn't dwell on it too much, you know, you can't think about it too much, you just have to move forward and you know that you can't do anything about it now. Day two, I fell on my two back hamstring layout. I was disappointed in myself, but I just told myself just to move on and just try to do my best. I think she overloaded herself a little too much. People think she is great on being, which she is. But also and for a young athlete to handle that much media attention in that particular event, I think that was a lot of pressure. Uh, yes, she, of course she's upset and uh, oh, frustrated, but again, that's part of the game.
The results, to me, is very secondary. I look at the mistakes as a great learning sessions for myself as her coach and for my athletes. I think the winning on a daily basis is more important. Finishing third all around was pretty great. I think I finished up strong and I was able to stay mentally strong. The highlight for me of PNG Championships was being there with my teammates and just being there to support each other and like have each other's back if we need it. It wasn't my best being those two days, but I'll get back out in the gym and work even harder and get back at it next year. Practice is going great right now. We just did some layouts up onto the big mat. And what are you concentrating on practice these Just to like get physically and mentally strong, you know, just working on my upgrades and just make sure everything looks good. I love this kid because she is working very hard on a daily basis to achieve her goals. I was happy with my whole season. You know, I got to compete two international meets and then classics in PNG, and I got great experience. And I was happy with all, how they all went. I'm hopefully training for the Italy meet in March. There'll be a couple of training camps leading up to it. Making the Olympics is one of my lifelong goals, and I think about Rio like quite often. Chao, uh, he just tells us not to get too ahead of ourselves and to pace us, and then I think it'll all come. I think our next goal will be upgrading on her skills and to be more competitive and also better and more precise on the flexibility and the conditioning. So she will be more prepared for the coming challenges. I think things are coming along.